Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another buzzing walkabout here on Buzzing Patea. And uh, in today's walkabout, well I say today, it's nearly the evening now, as you can see behind me, what a beautiful sunset we've got going on and it will hopefully be happening quite soon. Uh, but today's question is a really good one. It's where would you go to, where would be your go-to place if it wasn't Patea? And it's a really good question because right now we know that things are very, very hard for people to come into the country. And it's a shame because, you know, they could make things a lot easier. They certainly could allow people to come in, in my opinion, rightly or wrongly, but I think people that have had the vaccination should be allowed to come in without any quarantine and make it easier and more encouraging for people to come over to Thailand and enjoy this beautiful city that we live in here in Pattaya, as well as around the country. But unfortunately, as it is right now, that's not happening. So that leaves us in a situation where basically, what will be the outcome if they don't change the way that the policies are set in stone right now? Will you go elsewhere? And I don't blame you if you were to do, do such that and go off to, I don't know, Cambodia or Laos or Philippines or, you know, there's so many places that people name drop. So I wouldn't blame you if you did that. Yeah, it'd be a shame for the country. And it's a shame that you're being pushed away to another country because of the situation we've got here. But does Patea have enough in it to hold you to the point where you will hang it out and you will come back. I hope you do. I really, really do. I hope you all come back because this is a wonderful city. And yes, of course we have the entertainment. Yes, we have the nightlife, that goes without saying, but there's still a lot of other bits and pieces around in the city that are fun to enjoy. You know, there's water sports, there's islands nearby. There's a lot of uh, shopping malls, not that you come here for shopping, that's a terrible thing to say to you anyway, but never mind, it is there. Um, but you know, there's, there's, I don't know, there's something about this city that just keeps me here and I really hope it's enough to keep you here. But if it isn't, the question has to be, where will you go to? Where would you change your destination to? I've been to Cambodia. I've got to say, I loved it there. Um, I don't know if you guys have been there. If you have, how did you find it? For me, I really enjoyed it. It was like a, a step back in time and it was a lot more relaxed, a lot more fun to be around. Um, the girls were very friendly, it was very, very cheap. And I don't know, I just found Cambodia like a really enjoyable place. I've never been to the Philippines, but I hear so many good things about it, but I've never been. So I can't tell you myself whether it's a good or a bad place. Likewise, I haven't been over to like all the other places like Laos and all these uh, Vietnam, these kind of places, I've not been to them. So I can't really give you an idea as to what I would personally do. Would I go to Cambodia? I would if I wasn't with my, my missus and family, yeah. I'd go over there and have, and have a look because I like it, but I wouldn't live there. I like it here, this is my home, this is where I am. So, you know, it's a difficult one and I don't really know what the true answer would be or what would you do? If you couldn't come here, where would you go? What would be your next stop? Where would be your next stamp in your passport? And why? You know, it's all well and good saying these places, but why? Why would you go to somewhere like the Philippines? What's there that's different here? Remember, I'm asking that question because I haven't been there. So I can't give you an honest answer. What about Cambodia? For me, Yep, definitely enjoyed it, but I wouldn't live there. Vietnam, again, never been there, so I can't, I can't tell you what it's like, but I can only hope that you guys that are watching the channel have been to these places and you can share what it's like, because for me, I honestly don't know the answer. All right, so we're coming to the end of this video. It's a very short video today. And uh, it's nice, you know, people are out, people are doing their thing. There's a little bit more activity going on now, which is always nice. Hello. Yes, I'm fine, fine, thank you. There you go. Would you like a coconut drink? All right, guys, so anyway, there we are, that's it. Please have a look through the channel. Uh, as I'm gonna say, please, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified 
when we bring out a new video. And don't forget to check out our Telegram group. There's lots and lots of like-minded people just like you guys that all interact and uh, it really is fun. Lots of videos, all kinds of things like that. And don't forget the new shirts. I think they look really cool. Lots of people have said how nice they are. And uh, we'll have those available if you want one. Um, we can get that shipped out to you and uh, I'll put some information in the description below. All right, guys, so that's it for me today here on The Buzzing Show. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully, I look forward to reading all your comments. And uh, I've had a really, uh, no, I'm not gonna talk about it. I was, I was asked the other day about troll of the, of the month or troll of the week comment, because there are some hilarious comments that I get. And uh, anyway, it doesn't matter, whatever. If it floats your boat, crack on and drop whatever you wanna say, because really, it just, it goes in there out there and well i'll leave it all right anyway that's it for me today guys thanks ever so much for watching and uh, i look forward to speaking to you in another edition of buzzing walkabout here on buzzing patio all right so wherever you're in the world please stay safe